Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video, I thought I'm going to do a bit of a modern, kind of like a gothic look. It's not really gothic, but it's more just very clean with that very dark, dark um, lip. So I know a lot of my other videos have been really nice, you know, pretty kind of makeup. Um, this one's definitely wearable. But it's not that nice, you know, smoky eye. It's more of the feature will be the lip. So I'm going to start off by using um, the, the Giorgio Armani Lasting Silk UV Foundation in number 7. And to apply that, I'm going to use my Shiomira 18 foundation brush. So just pop that all over. also a little bit modern too because I know um, when you think of gothic makeup you think very very pale pale skin um, so my modern version of it is not pale pale skin it's just my normal natural colour For concealer, I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix, Fix in NW25 and just with that same Shiomira foundation blush, I'm just going to apply it under the eyes. I want the skin to look really, really clean and flawless. So the main, main feature is just going to be the lips. If you feel you've got really fine, thin lips, uh, maybe just go for a few shades lighter and it's definitely, you can still wear it. Just find a lip shade that you like and that suits you. To kind of give my skin that real doll look, I'm going to use um, MAC Strobe Cream. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand and with that same brush, I'm just going to highlight certain points of my face. So I'm going to do the tops of my cheeks, so along here. And you can already see that beautiful kind of sheen that it gives. Nice and clean. I think it's really good to use the same brush that you've put your foundation on because it kind of blends and mixes together so it looks quite natural. And right down the bridge of your nose, just, just along there. So that's the highlighting done. If you don't have um, the matte strobe cream, just use a highlighter. So even I've used before that matte soft and gentle, that would be really nice. Chanel make a beautiful um, Soleil de Chanel or something like that. I'll write in the comment box, but that's also really nice. But kind of gives you that plastic kind of doll look, which I like for this look. Um, I'm next gonna take this. This is a Becca uh, eye tint. And I actually got this with a magazine, I think it's Madison, which is out now, so in August, or it's a September issue. So it's a beautiful colour, it's called Vanilla, and it's a really nice peachy vanilla colour. So I'm going to apply that on my eyes, and to do that I'm just going to use the Shiomira number 10 synthetic brush, and just along the lid here, just apply that. It's a really nice kind of clean colour. You just blend that with your fingers if you need to. really really nice it's the first time I've actually used it it's nice and just soft and blends just so well really really nice there's also another color so you can choose from the vanilla or a bronzy color and I'm so tempted just to buy the magazine for, 
for the other colour. I'm also just going to take a little bit of that and pop that underneath the eye really, really close. So that's the base of the eye done. I'm next going to take, now this is a sleep palette. Um, I don't think it is available in Australia. You can certainly purchase it online. From what I hear, um, that Makeup and Glow, the online store, will be bringing it in. Um, so maybe just keep a look out or email them and see if they've got them in. But I'm going to be using this colour. So I'll just show just that one there. Just in the socket of my eyes. It's just a really neutral kind of colour just to create a little bit of depth. So really lightly just in there. So that's all I'm going to do for the eyeshadows and the eyes there. I'm next just going to take my Benefit Their Real Mascara and pop some on. Just a few coats and then I'll add a few lashes on there. I was going to add eyelashes, but I think I'm just going to leave it without. I think just a bit of mascara on there is um, enough for this look. I'm next going to do the eyebrows. So I'm going to take Anastasia Browies and just pop some on. The colour I'm using today is Medium Ash. For the cheeks, now we've done that really nice highlighted look, so I'm just going to contour a little bit, um, contour my cheeks in a bit. So I'm going to be using this MAC palette and I'll use this colour, which is Sculpt. So I'll just use Sculpt to do a little contouring with my MAC 138 brush or 9. The last, letters, the last uh, numbers come off. So. I'll put it in my comment box. So just underneath, because we're contouring, we're going underneath in the hollows of your cheek. So that's basically the base and the face done. Now onto the lips. I'm going to line them with my NARS, it's called Marina, no, Marnie. So my Marnie um, lip liner, just line the lips. So that's the lip liner done and for the lipstick I'm going to use 
this. I've just purchased it from um, Priceline and it was on sale, I think it was like seven, eight dollars. And it's the um, Rimmel that Cape Moss range and the color is 04, so it's a really nice plummy, deep, deep purple color. So I'm gonna use that for the lipstick. So that's the plum lips done. I'm next going to put a bit of that strobe cream just on the very inner centre of my lips, so just here. Kind of adds a bit of a pearly colour to it. That is the final uh, modern gothic look. Um, I know the lips are really, really out there, but I think because the rest of your face is clean, um, you've got that really beautiful strobe cream on the cheeks, um, you can get away with it. So enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you all soon. Bye!